Great signal from PJ2 slash K5 Papa India. PJ2 slash K5 Papa India. He is running JAs, meaning he is working a lot of uh, Japanese contacts. And he's specifically calling for JA. So what you just heard him do was he sent his uh, call sign PJ2 slash K5PI. Then he sent the word UP, which means up. That means he's going to be operating split, as you can tell I've got it configured here. And then he put JA at the end, which means he's calling for JA right now. So it would be kind of um, ignorant and inappropriate to try to give him a call to try to get a contact because he's... So UPJA. So it would be inappropriate to call him uh, as an American station. Um, it's just ignorant. And he might not come back to you anyways. So I was going to see, I've got everything all set up on the FT-DX101MP, Yezu. Um, so the, he's on, the, the PJ2 station is on 21020. And I kind of like where he sounds right there, which almost doesn't matter because what I'm going to be doing is transmitting on the frequency Okay, still calling for JAs. I'm going to be transmitting on the frequency. If you if you hit the clarify button for TX, this clarifier light comes on right here. And when I hit when I move the outer dial, you can see that the clarifier TX moves. So he is operating probably up about uh, a thousand thousand hertz which is what I have right there and you can kind of see the last person that called him was about a thousand hertz and you can kind of see where the little red chevron is and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit the span and bring it down to like 10 so let's see if we can see something there you can see some folks calling him about right where that is He's just giving out five nine nines, and let's change my oh. I think he's doing a general call. I don't think he put the uh, the JA on the end. Let's see. Ah, yeah, he put the JA on the end. All right, that works. So that's what it looks like to A, um, work split, because you don't want to call on his frequency. He's working up, so he's like calling people a thousand kilohertz up, or uh, or one kilohertz up, a thousand hertz up. <clears throat> and that's pretty typical. You're usually about a, a thousand hertz or two thousand hertz or one K or two K up. And that's how you do it with the clarifier this magically creates this outer ring as you can kind of move that around and make it whatever you want okay still calling for JAs okay somebody just tried calling him on his frequency which is no good And, you know, it could be an innocent mistake. They, they could have probably forgot to um, hit that button. You can, you can see you can still modify the clarifier um, or the, the TX clarifier and change it. But if you don't press that, see where the red line is? You're not going to be transmitted up there. And, you know, I've made that mistake a couple times before. And then, you know, sometimes people get angry. Okay, still calling for JAs. So, and that person just tried calling him on his frequency. 
was it K6 something? NV, K6 NV. So K6 NV, if you're watching, um, you probably forgot to just simply hit that so that you were working split. Because PJ2 slash K5PI is not listening on that frequency. They're listening on a frequency higher than that. Now, if you want to work split, you can do it this way. Or you can do it this way. So I, I got rid of the split thing. You can hit the TX button for the sub VFO. And you can change the sub VFO to 21021, for example. And you can do it that way if you want. So you're transmitting on the sub VFO, receiving on the first VFO. I kind of like it the other way with the clarifier because I like having the the red line that shows me where I'm going to be transmitting. So I'll get rid of the sub, go back to main. So I'm receiving and transmitting on the main VFO. And kind of get like that. And the reason why I like doing that is, you know, when that red line shows up, you can see where other folks are transmitting and maybe where that last person got their contact. And I can kind of like line it up so I'm, I'm pretty close to where he's listening because we really don't know what frequency he's listening on. He's just saying up and it's typically up one. Um, sometimes it's up two. And then some of these major de-expeditions, it'll go up 4K, sometimes five. I've seen something as high as seven. Um, the TY0RU de-expedition, they would go as high as 10K up. So keep that in mind. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get a contact uh, on the video. Uh, because he's still calling for JAs and um, that's it. Alright, so anyways... Uh, have a great night and happy CWing.